The Kitchen Chemistry Outreach Project and these video diaries have been sponsored by the Royal Society of Chemistry. My name is Stephen Ashworth and I work in the Chemistry Department at the University of East Anglia in the UK. I'm in South Africa from January to April 2013 working with SciFest Africa, the National Science Festival, to deliver chemistry and physics outreach right across the country. On my way to Mokala National Park, I turned off the main road to find Dirt Road. This is my first experience of driving on dirt roads, and it turned out to be like this all the way to the park. Waiting for the friends who suggested this outing, I was able to take in my surroundings, take stock of the accommodation, and have a look at the river that we were planning to paddle down. This is the Reet River, and at least the rapids aren't going to be very rapid. The trip down the river proved to be a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And coming away from the national park, we passed some game farms and saw these beautiful sable antelope. These are the premises of the Maths and Science Leadership Academy here in Kimberley. Behind me is the big hole and the main De Beers site. Today I spend the day at the Maths and Science Leadership Academy here in Kimberley. The first group of learners did spectroscopy in a suitcase and build your own spectroscope with me. Then a second group came in and I did the science shows Sound of Science and Lasers the Light Fantastic. And finally the far biggest group of the day saw the Kitchen Chemistry Science Show. It was a fairly full-on day, and after doing a little shopping, I didn't get back to the guest house until about half past six, at which point there was a thunderstorm and there was the most amazing display of lightning. I, I've been told that white wine should be served chilled. Isn't that right? So, so maybe I need red wine. Red wine. You can you can drink red wine at room temperature. So how about some red wine? <laughs> <laughs> now that Niederberg Baron. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Oh, I can't drink this either. Can I? I've got to. I've got to drive later. So um, so maybe I should take juice instead. Uh, milk instead, not juice. Milk. These learners are building their spectroscopes. It's a simple box with an entrance slit and an observation hole. The diffraction grating is provided by a DVD. You can pick up mercury spectra from fluorescent lights and even see absorption lines in the solar spectrum. They're very thin dark lines. So today was my last day at the Maths and Science Leadership Academy here in Kimberley. And as a gesture of appreciation, I received a certificate of excellence and a South African speciality, the air-dried meat called biltong. That'll keep me going for a little while. I'm just... Here, repacking the van, ready to go to Bloemfontein. Got to kitchen chemistry this evening, and so I need to sort things out, change things around, so that's the easiest to get at. I've also got to top up a couple of things, like vinegar, from my stock here. Here I am on the road to Bloemfontein. I've left the Northern Cape behind, and I'm now in the Free State. I'm on the old road to Bloemfontein because I was advised that the newer road is full of stop-go roadworks, which would have delayed me. Today I'm presenting one show on lasers to a large audience at the Unisee School, and then spectroscopy in a suitcase to a much smaller audience of undergraduates on their first day at university at the physics department of the University of the Free State.
For more information, please look at the blog or follow hashtag KCT2013 on Twitter.